Taya Mono. Taya Mosker. And we're on a mission to do what? Five of the definitive top 100 music videos of all time. And you're our fucking boss. That's right. Welcome to Podcast Kill the Video Star. We are your employees, Oscar and Mono, and we are ready to have what? Fun. Yes. We're clocked in. <laughs> we're clocked in. And today we have our very own HR rep in the house. She's here to crack down. Yeah, she's, she's, she's here to yell at us because we've done some shit. <laughs> we did some stuff. We said some really weird things that we thought were compliments, but we're not. Uh, we got Mary Sasson. I, I love you guys. Her. You're really revealing how like little corporate jobs you've had. <laughs> HR comes in and just scolds everybody. <laughs> It's only based on my viewing of the American office. And truly. Yeah. Like, and for me, the British office. So, you know. Right. Oh, classic. Have you ever yeah. had a corporate job? Mary, have you had a corporate job? The closest I came to was working at, like, a new media company um, that, like, classically, I think one of the most new media funny things about it was is that, like, there was a cold brew tap in, like, a communal kitchen that they immediately must have decided this is too expensive because it never came out cold brew. And it was like the funniest detail of like... That sucks. The idea of like, we like Google and give away free cold brew. And immediately, I'm sure an accountant Never was like, worked. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> cold brew is so expensive. Out of a tap? <laughs> then people are just chugging it. Chugging. Yeah. Yeah, because if just, it's there, you're going to take it, obviously. Yeah. Also, you just know what your, your freaking engineers or whomever running around hopped up on cold brew <laughs> i it would make business sense to me i guess i see the case for both mm -hmm. but like yeah if podcast studios have had it in the before time um and i i miss it i miss the free jitters i love the jitters with caffeine i gotta say what do you mean you love the jitters what <gasps> i love having so much caffeine that i'm shaking what what i've i've done that a uh, hand like half a handful of times in my life when i uh worked at this uh did americorps we would have like corporate like trainings all day every other friday and there was nothing you could do but just like get up and drink more coffee Ooh. um and i was just like oh no i hate <laughs> this <laughs> i was like if this is at all what cocaine feels like <laughs> count me out hell yeah hell it just it really just feel a little bit too turnt. <laughs> yeah, it always goes one of two ways. I've Sometimes I am like, oh my God, I'm sending a lot of emails. <laughs> or I'm having a panic attack about uh -huh. taking my dog to the park. It's like, <laughs> really yeah, silly. Yeah, it's usually the latter. Oh, if it's your first time listening, this is Podcast Killed the Video Star. We love music videos. We're going to try to rank them all. And the best part is y'all listening get to be a part of it. Isn't that right, That's Oscar? That's right. Each of us have nominated a music video to put into the top 100 music videos list of all time. All you got to do is go on our Instagram at Podcast Killed the Video Star. Vote for your favorite. The one with the most likes gets to move on. Yes, and if you really want us to watch your specific music video, you can throw us some coins wherever you're watching or listening, YouTube, Pods, Anchor, whatever. Throw us some coins. We have to watch your music video. Absolutely. It's a good time. We are literally working for you. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Yep. yep, clocked in. And Mary, you're here today. We're going to watch a music video you chose. But before we do that, why do you give a shit about music videos? If you do. I love music videos. I, I think know. a lot about how I love that the art of music videos has not gone away, even though it feels like the, the vehicle, or how do I want to say this? Like, we're yeah. not, like MTV the and medium. VH1 are like, yeah. the medium is like gone. But I love that like Vivo and like the internet has been like, no, we're not stopping this. We're yeah. going to yeah. do this forever. Yeah. Um, I love that. I love how much it can like color a song by being like, maybe like new interpretation of it or maybe even just like whoa that is just so cool um mm -hmm. i think it also helps me be like how cool is this artist or how cool does this artist let people um style them almost good like, point i learned recently that like um sometimes why an artist doesn't have good style is because like they don't let a stylist like play with them like take mm. risks mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and i think like the same must be true for like music videos like how much are artists willing to be like even if i don't get it let's go for it right, right you know what right, i mean right mm -hmm. i um, mean it, it helped like you know it brings 
an auditory medium to the visual aspect, right? And a good a good song could be ruined by its music video. That's true. Yeah. Or a shitty song can be made better by the music video. We talked about this earlier, Mary, where you were having a bit of a dilemma in terms of like picking the music video that was right for you because of the like the the song versus the video. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I was just like one. I think I just love so many music videos, um, and so and also it does feel like kind of like hey, put on a song. Like the song you pick mm-hmm. is just like. <gasps> um, so I just had so many like choices, and I was like, my first thing that came to mind was Annie Lennox's "Walking on Broken Glass," ah. and I like adore Annie Lennox, and I like remember that video being really fun. And I rewatched it, and I was like. This is like fun costumes and it's fun right. John Malkovich. It's fun Hugh Laurie, but not much actually happens mm-hmm. in the video. And I was kind of like, I think I might just like really like this song. Right. Yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, there's not much necessarily happening in this. Um, and so then when I started just watching, like, I was like, oh, I love these songs. And I was like, I think I just like the song. Like the music video is not too much is happening. Right. I, I, I've had that. Um, I have that every time. There's been so many music videos I want to watch, but it's like one part of the medium isn't quite matching up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then there were, yeah, other, I almost picked Thong Song too <laughs> and rewatched nah. that music video. And it's, it is a lot we of did, fun. We did, and we recently um, did it on the pod. We recently covered okay, that. Okay, good, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, good, good, yeah. good. So and, funny. You know, that, it's just... That, that moment when he's dancing and they all slam down their yes! faces. Yeah, That's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> the whole <laughs> Where he issues? causes an earthquake with his fucking yeah. foot. I, I love it. I, I <laughs> just, like, something in my brain is like... And then, like... <laughs> It is high I camp. I scream laughed. Like, I'm not really yeah. a scream laugher, but when the orchestra comes in, like, <gasps> I'm just duh, like, duh, 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 duh. and it's like, this is a thong song. And now we're like, yeah. we're yeah. making fun of ourselves, but we're also not. Yeah. yeah. I love when it goes like day glow, like it goes like cosmic right. bowling. Yeah. And you just have, you have like the orchestra who's like, we're still yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that. Um, and that song also came out when I was in seventh grade and I went to a lot of bar mitzvahs and that <laughs> song was fucking tearing up. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. <laughs> so. Wait, so let's talk about your yes. music video pick because this video and song feels around the same era, correct? Yeah, I think I would say, I'm trying to see if I can see what oh, year. Yeah. Oh, so this is 2002. Okay. Uh-huh. So that would have been for me... Like, um, I think like ninth grade, um, if I'm doing that math right, but who knows what part mm-hmm. of the year it was. So, um, pretty pivotal. I, I think they say a lot of times like your high school ish, like music, you never like really get over yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which I almost picked a chingy. Oh, song. <laughs> holiday Inn um, or something else. I, I did look at uh-huh. holiday Inn. I did look at one call away. Chingy. Um, <laughs> I, I was doing a chingy. I was like, God, I, <laughs> I fucking love Chingy. The amount of amazing artists we haven't even touched. Like, it we shocks haven't even covered. me. Mm-mm. We yeah. are just starting this journey, bitch. Yeah, I think that also that early 2000s, like, pop yeah. rap um, just, like, touches, just, like, stimulates a part of my brain that is just, yeah. Like, yeah. very yeah. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. but I think this, this song I, is like one of those songs that I'll still, and I think the music videos is a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, this is Lady Woo. Marmalade. And this one um, had like a making so, of yeah. the video, right? Like it had a making of. I was going to say yes. too. I think it had a making yeah. of the video. Um, it also just has like, as I was looking at the list of people who were part of it, it reminds me of like, if there was just like a really cool, like improv team and that like how bummed i'd be if like i wasn't asked to be right part. like imagine being mm-hmm. another female artist at this time and being like well i guess christina aguilar didn't think it was or maybe it was missy <laughs> elliott i don't know who's putting this together yeah yeah um, i don't yeah i don't put but this, this is I, the original avengers to me like where it was like yeah. there's uh-huh. no yeah. reason for there to be this much talent on one song but we did it yeah yeah you're right um just a, a lot of fun. I think also like really fun vocals. I mean, we're getting more into like the songs, but the costumes are really fun. Like, I wonder if you could call this camp. Mm-hmm. Um, I would call but, it camp. Okay. I, would call it I camp. think it's a lot of fun. And I was thinking too, about like how funny it is that it's like um, 
from the Moulin Rouge that, soundtrack, but like not. I felt crazy saying that. I'm not, like, is this on Moulin Rouge? Or am I making that up? Absolutely, yeah. But not of. It's one of those songs that's got to be like, we'll play it at right. the credits because it doesn't really fit in with the rest of right. the movie. Right, because it wasn't featured in the movie itself. Like, which was like kind of like a musical. And it's yeah. like, the tone Almost. is so like, and then I go and spoil it all by saying, like, it's so like flouty. Yeah. And then we have a Missy track. Yeah, the um, the movie itself had a very much almost like a girl talk of pops right, music song. Right. That's it. That. That's it. That is a perfect Loz, reference, what's Mary. His name? Girl yeah. talk of pop music. Boz, Boz, Boz Lerman. Boz Berman. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Loz Berman. Loz Berman. Okay, Medinga. Um, um, well, I want to watch it. Should we watch it? Absolutely. Yeah, so Absolutely how, should, we should. how do we, so how do we, we do count this? ourselves? I just watch it. We'll go okay. one, two, three, play and try to comment at the same time. Cool. Great. Okay. okay, here we go. One, two, three, play. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we got Missy introducing. I love that. Love Missy. Ugh, already love this stage. The stage Stunning. is great. Imagine okay. trying to do him. Little Kim's on never it. been more oh, powerful. Absolutely. Lil Kim. Okay, it's all the it's all the pop divas of the time. They all yeah. have a great look. I remember thinking they did pink dirty. <laughs> Really? I was going to say they did Maya dirty. Interesting. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. I was like, she. oh, she gets to go first. She like, She's like okay, the warm-up act. See. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, okay. It is interesting. They all have different vocal skills, so it's an interesting conversation on like... Absolutely. Christina, you're going to blow us out, so you have to go later, right? The last, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Who are you the most like? Are you a Pink? Are you a Maya? Are you a Christina? Are you a Lil' Kim? We've wow. talked about this before, and I think I'm. Am I pink? Am I pink or Maya? I you know think... what I was just about to say. Okay, what I think you, you might be the Maya. Maya. I'm a Maya. I'm a Maya. I'll own that. Yeah, I'll own that. Mary, what about you? I don't want to be pink, but I think. I'm pink. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say good. I think you're the little kid, Mary. Oh, oh I'll take that. You're the little high, high praise. Absolutely, and I am the Missy Elliott. Yeah, Oscar is. Oh, introducing <laughs> us all. Oscar is Missy. <laughs> Just introducing Jesus. and then taking a step back and watching the girls perform. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I'm the okay. friend. I'm the friend of the group that has no talent or skill who just oh, wants to be involved. Now I'm not accepting. It. You have the most talent. Stop. You just didn't that, want to dress up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was so well said. I love the style. I also remember this being like controversial. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh my Look god. Kim. My. Oh I just had gosh. like the ASMR tingles. Right? Yeah. <laughs> when I can fit yours. She does this little shimmy in it that makes me laugh yeah. so fucking it's hard coming up. in this video. Is it the titty shake? It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up right now. The, the titty shake? Oh, the I love titty it. Shake. The titty shake. Lil Kim. I like when they try to take away stuff and she goes to take yes. it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This one. This one. This one. That is good. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, that's it. She's necklace. like, give it back, give it Just back. Kidding. I also look at her being like really drawing attention to her pussy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, only low shots for me. Yeah. God. Here she comes. And then Christina's like, back up, back okay. up, back yeah. up. I got this. And the back other girls up. are making room for Christina. Yeah. They're like, yeah. Here, because okay, I also here remember we are. the timing. Like her looks insane. And now, absolutely that hair. The hair. She's a teeny tiny little girl. What you doing? She's with all that so hair? Teeny, tiny here. She's 50% yeah. hair. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think yeah. the hair actually had to be held by a sandbag because it was too heavy. <laughs> um, I love this. Okay, very Rococo throwing. So what is the storyline here? Are they all like cabaret performers at the movie? I believe they're prostitutes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? I believe is would you like to come to bed with uh -huh. me tonight? Okay. Okay, Duolingo. They're right. working. <laughs> I think the story of this, I believe, is uh, a guy who's just kind of like a nine to five guy who's just like kind of in a rut, not doing well, just not feeling himself, goes to the Moulin Rouge, fucks one of these women, <laughs> and now can go home and be a better yeah. man. Like, now he can go back. Wait now he's second. back home doing nine to five. Oh my god! The dream of every you know, wife. We're the we're the man. Yeah. Because in the in the video we are watching the curtain. Yeah. Missy, You're right. The madam of the Moulin Rouge is introducing us to the girls. Oh. Yeah. We got the POV shots. We got the POV shots. We are 
male gaze. Yeah, like, oh, that little boy. Oh, Oscar. And when you... If you had the... This is my moment. This is my moment. I <laughs> Mono. Um, <laughs> in a world where you had the the true honor of being sexy with one of these lovely ladies, who, who are you picking? Who are you picking? Who? Ooh, that's a good question. I would pick... I think Pink would take care of me. I'm going to go with Pink. I would, I would also say Pink, actually. Yeah. I think she'd take charge, and I need someone to take charge. Absolutely, yeah. She, she's the boss. I think my first thought is, if you're going to do it, go for Lil' Kim. Mm. Uh-huh. But I have the same theory, and I don't know if I was telling you, you this one the other day. It would... I think little Kim would be akin to also like if you were to have sex with Rihanna, like she would blow <laughs> you away. Yeah. Like the amount of sex appeal and like sex that Lil Kim or Rihanna could bring to the bedroom is like I like it would I think it would be like hearing Martian music when you've only yeah. heard Earth music. It blows <laughs> it'll blow out your eardrums. Yeah. It'll blow out your sex <laughs> your sex drum. That would suck. Um, your your penis pops like one of those like like little New Year's little, like a it unfurls it un- like a fruit. it unfurls that you blew too hard it pops that would suck. Yeah, I think it would be a lot, but also it just does feel like if you're gonna, yeah, but yeah, she also may not be like <laughs> walks in is like we're not warm enough. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> like, Kim, Lil Kim would fuck you up. Yeah, like yeah. Lil Kim would fuck you up. Pink would take charge. She would dominate. So you don't have, you don't need a plan at all going into it. Yeah, yeah Maya yeah. would cuddle and like have a yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Christina I think, would, would. I don't know. If she's paying attention. <laughs> no, no, no. She would be masturbating, and she would just. Be like, <laughs> oh, okay, fun. that feels kind of supportive. Um, <laughs> but also, it might be because like she's looking at herself. Right, right. She's right. too busy looking at her own reflection, probably. Okay. 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 Mulan. Okay. Mulan, Mulan Rouge. Wait a second. Who is that girl I see? Um, I think a lot about both Christina and Pink too. Looking at also at that video is like both of those being such tiny mm. women. Yeah. I feel so bad that like, uh, I feel like Christina Aguilar can put on like five pounds and everyone's like she's lost it and it's like <laughs> no, there's just no place to yeah. put it. It, like, that, she's just she's so, so small. teeny. She's so tiny. She's also, you know, we've all been, who isn't on a body journey? I think is what we're learning. Everyone's on a body journey, and like, at that time though, it was so acceptable to be like, "Ooh, you're too skinny. Stop it," you know, or yeah. "Ooh, you've gained weight." It was like there's no winning in this early 2000s. Also, imagine. I mean, I didn't have this uh, journey, but imagine like a lot of people when they're like. 16 are the thinnest they're ever yeah. going to be. Yeah. And imagine like that's when you're introduced to the world. So people are like, oh, this is yeah. your body? And it's like, well, this is my body with my metabolism. Right. Fucking yeah. boring. Peak <laughs> performance. Exactly. It's like, then I grew yeah. up. And it's yeah. like, mm-mm. And that's then like everyone, yeah, then you're just chasing that 16-year-old metabolism. It's like, no, that's, that's, that body, that's that quit. Cool. Mm-hmm. That metabolism done quit. Yeah. You know? It's Ooh. tough. And also, listen, we were so cruel to women at that, that age. We talk about it all the time, time in this like, music video of like, I hate, it's such a recurring thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tough to be a girl during that time. Yeah. <laughs> I would say tough to be a girl now even too. You yes, know? yes, like, yes, yes. Yikes. Um, yikes, yikes, yikes. But at least now there's like, hey, there's multiple kinds of bodies that we think are right. okay. Yeah. Back then, it was just like, where are your hip bones? And can you please wear pants that go just above? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Let's see that thong sticking out of your jeans. Oof. I remember yeah. watching the Britney Spears, I'm not a girl, not yet a woman, and being like, I've never seen jeans that low rise. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely not. So I was like, what is keeping those up? <laughs> we just saw a music video where, like, someone's like whatever you know like there's like a waist on your jeans and they had cut those off yeah. where i was like oh that was yeah big in middle like school like just cutting oh, yeah. the whole seam that is a, keeping it kind of hugged to your body mm-hmm. cutting that off mm-hmm. do you know what is a, a very funny uh, insight into like little 7th grade me was i remember girls doing that and me being like <laughs> There's no way I'm doing that to my jeans. That's a fad. I do not have enough money to buy new jeans when uh-huh. that fad goes. <laughs> and also just like, just like little practical me was like, no, <laughs> I'm not ruining my jeans. 
<laughs> so then in a week we yeah. hit that and I can't wear those jeans. Right. No. Mm-hmm. You no. knew you were ahead of the trend. Yeah. I think that's the thing is like if you're never trendy, you never <laughs> look such a relief. You you never look great. But you never oh. look crazy. Like, there's not <laughs> photos you can look back on where it's like, oh, my God. What is What this? was she thinking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, if you're always just wearing a solid colored T-shirt same. and jeans. If you, uh, for me, I'm the same. It's like, if I always dress like a little kid, it's it's yeah. like, that I, I, I can keep that style consistent. Like, it's just like. Right. Yeah. My yeah. style hasn't changed since 1992. Yep. yep. And what's nice about that is it like it cycles back yes. in. Yes. Right. Yes. You know, I'm at least on trend once every 20 years. Yeah. yeah once That's every good. 20 years. <laughs> yeah. You're back. Yeah. Uh, but wait. So in this podcast, we talk about the Leiu, the big moment, the iconic moment in this music video. Mary, what was the Leiu moment in Lady Marmalade? What was like the moment that really was a cultural mindset? I feel like that moment, I will say when like it was just like, well, all of them together. Yeah. Uh, I do think, and I think them being very sexy, and this did feel like a moment of like, oh, are we letting them mm-hmm. do that? Um, mm-hmm. But I also do think that moment where like, we were like, back up, back up, Christina's yeah. about to go. I agree. Like, whoa. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> I agree. That's the leave for me. It's the, it does it's feel good. like where we were like. It's the vocal curtains yes. opening up to reveal yes. Christina. To me, it is the yeah. beginning of the Flintstones when that, when that steam pipe dinosaur is going, burr, 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 you're like, okay, fr- we're, we're going. going. Fred has to slide down a tail. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree. I think that's the moment. Because I remember even just watching it and moment. being like, whoa. Yeah. 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 And I think that it did help that this was such a like making of the mm-hmm. video where you had seen all the little parts in the stage and things like that. But then when it came all together, it was just like, <gasps> yeah. Gag. Iconic. Yeah. Truly, truly iconic. Uh, wow, Mary, that is, you have set the bar incredibly that's a high. Hard, high. Mono bar. and I have to try to top that. That's going to be really <laughs> hard. But after the break, we'll be back with Mono's. Okay. Break. Okay, we're back. Holy shit. I'm sorry. I just went through a crisis on break where I was trying to figure out what music video to watch. Literally the longest break we've ever had. (laughs) It really was. It really was. It's just so hard. It's like, I love everything about music videos that are stupid and fun and good. And sometimes it is so hard to be like, wait, are we going to talk about something good? Are we going to talk about something dumb? Oh, okay. But I think this is kind of both. I really do. Um, I, I think mean, I is, would say this this is in the good category. I don't know. I don't know if it's dumb. I think some of the tropes and fads in it are goofy. I mean, it is a one thousand percent mono pick that we will definitely go over. This is mono's aesthetic. The house down factory. Boots. I mean, it's definitely not going for a six. It's going for tens. At Mary's yes. correct. That's and yes. that's that's correct. That's 100% right. Yeah. Um, I wanted to give, you know, like, give a real competition to Lady Marmalade. I, I think mm. it stands the chance to win. But I was like, how can we cook? How can we kick it up a notch? Okay. As opposed to just laying down on the tracks. And I think yeah. this could give it a run for its money. Mm-hmm. So we're going to watch TLC's No Scrubs. Wow. Our second TLC video on the podcast. Yes, mm-hmm. we did Waterfalls. We did Waterfalls. Um, and this is from, what was it called? Fan Mail? Fan Mail. Um, I think so. This was like their big comeback. Absolutely. Yeah. This and had like an MTV premiere moment. Like, tune in for the No Scrubs music yeah, video. This I was remember. our generations. It feels like, um, what was that Michael, video, Michael Jackson Remember video? the time? Uh, maybe, there was one that like premiered on Fox at like 8 p.m. They were oh, like shit. with the what? What is the one where like Billy Jean or like the the sidewalk oh. Like, lights? Oh, Billy Jean. Uh, Billy Jean. Yeah, Billy Jean. Yeah, I think th- this did feel like they're oh like yeah that. Yep, yep. It's goofy. It's crazy. It's no scrubs. Uh, I'm. We're gonna watch it together real soon. But one thing we do know is that it has my favorite thing, which is what Oscar. A factory. The damn metal factory for no I love good reason at all. A you factory f- that makes no good. I want to say, for the past couple of weeks, you have exclusively picked videos with this aesthetic. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we watched Robbie Williams' Rock DJ recently, Mary. Okay. Do you and remember then, that, where he rips off his skin and muscles? Yes, 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 yes. yes. There's yeah. just like a weird crowd of people like... 
Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this also reminds me of like the Scream has a little bit of this. Which yes. also yes. featured on the podcast. I also, What's It Gonna Be? Janet Jackson, Busta Rhymes yes, aesthetic, yes, 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 which yes. Mono yeah. loves, you know. We it's got dream. Dream. Liquid Dreams, O Town. Do you remember this video, Mary? Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> I also that was like, one. I'll have to watch uh, this, but to me, it doesn't feel like a factor that makes nothing. It feels like a space station for okay. no reason. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Yes, different things similar in the yeah, same family, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. same family, yeah. We're going to have to do a face-off of Space Station for no reason v factor <laughs> yeah. no good. Yeah, just looking to see if there's like a union rep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an OSHA person just. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or an With a HR person. Uh-huh. An HR making sure everyone's uh-huh. taking their breaks. <laughs> everyone knows HR is in the office at all times, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. making funny jokes. Okay. Let's watch it, shall okay. we? Let's do yeah. it. So I'll count us in to a three, two, one, play. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. Okay, fantastic. Oh, yeah. We already, got, yeah. Okay, this is, we, we got title cards. Already, we going title in. cards. We're falling down the Space Jam Looney Tunes hole. Okay. <gasps> oh! No. Okay, the man, fan mail. They're inside the internet is what they're, they're wow. inside a computer. That, that yes. does make sense. Yeah. Oh, wow. She's on a stunner. weird metallic swing. Yes. Oh, I love their weird new fashion. Okay, this yeah. this song is dope as fuck. This is a yeah. it's iconic so good. Song. Do you guys watch Real Housewives franchises? No, I just watch like the highlights when they pop up online. The writer um is in Atlanta and it's very cool. Just like knowing really? she's made good money off of the song. Oh, that's right, Candy. Yeah. And I know Candy because she won a season of The Masked Singer, which is a show I watch. Oh. Is her last name start with a B? Briss, Briss. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. I've heard her name a lot. And she also sang the song Don't Think I'm Not, which is also iconic. Wow. These women are fit in a way that just blows me away. Absolutely. They are all really fit. This I is interesting belt. because this speaks to that NSYNC trope of like hanging on the walls and like, yes. remember that trope from like the early yeah. aughts? Yes. Yes. Gravity was out Gravity. in the aughts. Over. We're done. <laughs> They're, I love that they all have such, we all know this about them, but we love them because they do such a great job of being a unit, but having their own such, identity. Yeah. Such unique identities. Who was your favorite? God, oh, we uh, talked about this. I, I, I loved was, Chili. Me too! Yay, Mary! Chili's my favorite. I loved T Boz, and I don't know why. Like, I love them all. T Boz is reason. iconic. I but also Chili yeah. for me was the one. how wild Left Eye was. Yes. Yes. Didn't she burn a house? Yeah. She oh, burned yeah. her boyfriend's house down. Oh, my God. <laughs> she but lit she's a pair of funny. sneakers and threw it in the bathtub. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Are we getting the... I remember the left eye running home from school to hope to catch this on TRL. God. Like, Absolutely. I remember being like, fuck, I missed Oh, Snow this Trump. is another trope. This, like, jerky camera movement yes. thing. Yes. And the pushes. Uh-huh. No, no. Oh, man. Great. And we haven't even got the verse yet. We love a left eye verse. Wait, are we getting the verse? I think they missed oh, it. Yeah. I think it just would have been right I there. I think it would have been just... But maybe it's coming after this Am Am I becoming... And I hope I'll kill myself. <laughs> um, but they would cut it out sometimes, right? They would. They would. Maybe, it's, maybe it's coming up. No, it's right here. Yes. Oh my god. Because she's the funny one. Yes, she is the funny one. Also, a good lyricist, I gotta say. Incredible lyricist. Oh, this. Oh, move, yeah. This is incredible. <laughs> this. These moves. Those cam. That like weird camera. I feel like has made an appearance on. On a bunch yes. of yeah, absolutely. Yes. She's she, giving me Marvin like the Martian. Tinfoil Marvin hat, the Martian. Like the Martians yes. are coming vibes. Truly, she's about to have a fight with Bugs Bunny. <laughs> she is. <laughs> so, could I be a silly hoe? Do I you guys mean, remember the the uh, song No Pigeons? Ab- yes, absolutely. Yes. The response to No Scrubs. Yes. <laughs> that was like a very like Napster like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they shot back. Oh, the microphone <laughs> drop. The men's perspective. Yeah. <laughs> this did kind of beget a culture of uh, having that conversation and what is a scrub and like is a scrub a poor person? 
I, I don't think yes. I don't, it is, but I think it is more a person who's like disrespectful, right? Yeah, Scrubby's a. Yeah, scr- to... Just listen to the lyrics, girl. They they just they go in full detail. Describing he definitely that. doesn't have his own car, but to me, it's not just like he he's poor. It's almost like it's he's not trying to better himself. Yeah, you know I like he's that. just a loser. I like that. A scrub is a fucking loser. You know, also known I as like a buster, that. which I think is so <laughs> also known as a buster. Like, when have you ever busters. called someone a buster? Is hey, what I want to know. Yeah, buster. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, what that. I want to know. Also, wow. this album had "Unpretty," which also is a music yes. video. "Unpretty," yes, really made us think. Yes, but Iconic. those, yeah, it was great. And these man, fucking TLC. We all know they've been. They were so mistreated, and like the way that their manager and LaFace mm-hmm. took so much of their profits from, especially Crazy Sexy Cool, and just like did they deserve so much more money than they got? They they got yeah. screwed. I think yeah. a lot about their behind the music. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, that's how I learned about sickle cell anemia. Mm. Who had T-Boss sickle cell? T Boss, right? T Boss had it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <gasps> Whoa. They all, okay. had, they all had something. <laughs> they all had something. Okay. Who should we ask Mary to ask us what this music video is about? Yeah. What's the? Yeah. Yeah. What's going on in this music video, Mary? Yeah. You decide. Space station or factory? Mm-hmm. I will say because of that weird like envelope, it does make me think that like there is a world, especially at this time. That they were in a like computer slash what we thought of as the internet. I'm trying to find uh-huh. like a year. It's like 2001, video. I think. Um, from TikTok, I've learned that there's like a um, <laughs> there's two like 2000s aesthetics, and Gen Z is getting them mixed up. There's Mick Bling, which is mm-hmm. like Paris Hilton having like a blinged out, like a bedazzled phone kind of mm-hmm. thing, and then there's like um. I think they call it like a, what was it, like Y2K. And Y2K is this like weird neo-futuristic metal shiny of like, this is what the future will be like. And Uh this feels very much that of like, this is them being like, we're all going to be like dancing in weird dome rooms someday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Whoa. But it also feels like they're in a weird little prison (laughs) that they've just been given like a birdcage swing. Yeah, it sure does. Um, Damn. So uh, I guess I would say this. I don't know if this like music video has a narrative as much as just vibes. Yeah, absolutely. I like that. Strong it's a vibe. Vibes. Yeah. Strong yeah. Vibes. And a, it's just a message. Message forward. Do not be a scrub. Yeah. Yeah. It's Please. just like, look, we're telling you exactly like a scrub is a guy that thinks he's like, we're telling you what we're trying to say. So just have fun with these. And also to, to Mary's point, it is like introducing the Y2K lingo to mm-hmm. the new generation of like, listen, this is the new times. This is fan mail. I'm doing you a service. This is a scrub. Let's all get into the new Y2K vocabulary. Scrub is the first thing. Um, pretty a, will be our second thing that we'll it, talk about. And a very nineties band is like bringing you there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Damn. I love, I love this song. I got to say for me, the lay you is, um, I, oh god, it's also good, but I'm just gonna say Marvin the Martian left eye. <laughs> I think that's my lady. Her her rap. Yeah, yeah, that the purple suit and almost like karate chopping the camera that's trying to just document Love her it. song. <laughs> it's like stop. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. uh, how about y'all? To me, it's the very beginning when the lights yeah. come up and we're introduced mm. to like the room and we see them in their respective places. Like that to me is so iconic because I yes. remember it takes me back to when I was like, oh, this like like what Mary said. Oh, this 90s group, like we sort of forgot about them in the mid 90s. And then now they're coming back with a whole new sound, a different vibe entirely. So like mm-hmm. it's it just it's it's like TLC 2.0, which is really exciting. Yeah, I do think that like the like do 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 like what we call it the hook is that the hook? Um, as soon as it does feel like okay, TLC is back, mm-hmm. trust us, um, and a little bit is kind of like this can work or this cannot work, and as mm-hmm. soon as this music video starts, I'm like, oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in exactly. a yeah. thousand percent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, as much as it feels like the 
uh, almost like the climax shouldn't come first. It feels like from the beginning, I'm like, I'm in and I love everything about this. Yep. Uh huh. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, they did I well. Because they could have shown up and sucked. Yeah. Or yeah, they didn't. Showed up and even tried to. Like, sometimes I think people, like, bands will be like, well, then let's just do what we've always done, kind of thing. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then this... sometimes also people will be like, okay, well, we're going to do something new. And it's like, okay. Mm, it it mm. just, it hit perfectly. Yeah. Mm. It's great. It's a great, wow. Okay, Mata, that's a good pick, too. And a strong contender. Strong, strong contender. Or coming you for know? Miss Marmalade's gig. Um, gotta come. Gotta come yeah, for the Pinterest I mean, Miss Elliot. It's true. It's true. We do. We have to, like, actually bring it. Fun. So are you bringing it? What are you bringing? Okay, so I had a choice, but I'm literally changing it at the last <gasps> minute. <gasps> Whoa! Because, listen, last we're here. Minute. We're It's a vibe. So far, two for two for a specific vibe. Okay. I'm going to add to this vibe. I'm not going to try to change it. Don't try wow. to fight the vibe. I'm not going to try to fight the vibe, okay? This could also be a contender with TLC this. and Lady Marmalade gals. I love when it's a bloodbath. I love when yeah. it's just like, oh my God, these are it's so okay. mean that we have to pick one. Yeah. I, wow. I also, I also looked at this music video and I'm going to have a lot of fun pointing some things out with you guys because I watched it Great. recently. Love it. Oh, love I can't it, wait. love it, love it. Because this, we need to discuss this, is, this video. We, we have a discuss. lot of nerve putting these in the same episode. I, listen, it's a like it's a bloodbath. This is the bloodiest oh, episode people are gonna of podcast. Be so Kill the video mad, star. and I yeah. love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, I'm talking about Destiny's Child. Say my name, and yes. this is a new Destiny's Child. Back in the day, this is in the year 2000. We were familiar with Latavia and Latoya from uh, Destiny's Child, and all of a sudden, this video comes out, and the girls are not there. And so instead, we had one cash change from in this we video? We had two cash changes. Okay, two cash changes. So we had, oh. instead of Latavia, we had Miss Michelle. Okay. And instead of Latoya, we had Miss Farah, Farah, who got to be in two music videos and then was dropped from Destiny's Child. Damn. We saw her in this, and we saw her in Jumpin' Jumpin'. So this is the debut of the new Destiny's Child. We still had Beyonce, wow. we still had Kelly, but then we have these two new girls. Now, do you know about this whole controversy with Destiny's Child? Well, Latavia and Lata uh, Lat Latavia and Latoya quit Destiny's Child. Is no. this something about Beyonce's dad? Or yes. So the man, so the Beyonce's dad was their manager, and they felt like they weren't getting the money. They oh, felt the like money. Beyonce was getting more money than the other girls, and so they clapped back at Mr. Knowles. And then mm -hmm. his response was, you're out of the group. And then wow. they hired these two girls to, and this was like shortly after they started filming Say My Name. They had to learn the choreography at the very last minute and they still used Latavia's and Latoya's vocals oh. in this music video. So wow. a lot of shady business happening. But to me, this music video is I. Iconic. This was one of like wow. my queer awakenings. I think of like, <laughs> of like, I why am I living for this video so fucking hard? And it's like, oh, because I'm gay. That's why. So, and this it, invented what monochromatic. This invented it. Abs <laughs> no, absolutely, yes, absolutely. With the shifting rooms, you know, each girl in their own rooms. But you know what? Enough of this. Let's just watch this video. Is Beyonce's yes? dad's name Matthew? I yes. have a weird. Okay, yes, it's very Matthew funny knows. that a Matthew and a Tina had a Solange and a Beyonce. Like <laughs> <laughs> they were maybe they were like, our names are so boring. Yeah, let's so go boring. for it. Yeah. Let's fucking go for it. Exactly. Also the outfits are giving me so much Tina Knowles. Oh That's yeah, Darion. Oh, absolutely. She was doing so much of the outfits. Yeah. Absolutely. The house of Darion. Okay. Same stress. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do it. Let's watch, shall Ready? we? Ready? Three, yeah. two, one, play. Doc Child nah nah. <laughs> Okay, we got Beyonce right out the gate. I think orange oh, wow. is not orange is like not the right color for Beyonce. It's like skin tone. It's tough to pull off. It's, I gotta yeah. say, it's too similar. It's tough to pull off. But then we got wait, who's this girl in red? And who's this girl in white? Every who once in a that? while, there's like a random white girl in the corner who I'm like, <laughs> who is that? <laughs> her? And oh, her. I she do... might be light skin, but yeah, no, I don't yeah, know. exactly. But when I first saw this video. I was like, is Destiny's Child now a group of like six girls? Like, it just felt like they <laughs> right. added so many girls. Something I love about this is they don't freeze very well always. Yeah, there's a lot of. 
<laughs> Extra move, like. A lot of breathing, and the hair is moving. There you see. I remember this being like, when this came out, I was like, this is the final music video. Yeah, this like, is exactly. We're done. No one this will make feels, a better music video. I gotta video. say, this video feels like high school talent show. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. this is something I would choreograph with all my girlfriends. Like, okay, and then we freeze here. It yeah. felt very that. It also feels like you just, okay, now that we're getting some Jamiroquai virtual yes, insanity. Exactly. Yes, exactly. This is why I love this video, I think, because it's giving me virtual insanity. Oh, that is, that man literally copied Jamiroquai <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> oh, okay. wow. Ooh, okay, now we're oh. mixing. Michelle. Yeah. Wow. I mean, did all the videos we played today have a making the video, or am I crazy? Maybe. I don't know if this had a video. Bootylicious had a making the video. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Bootylicious. Yeah. So this story, right, is the story of a very bad cheater, right? Yes. Yes. And so, yeah, who calls his girlfriend when he's with another girl. Yes. And he's then, a messy, yes. he's a messy Why cheater. Why are you talking he's bad. in a way you've never talked before? Right, right, right. This so is this a is... cheater that wants to be on the show Cheaters. Do you remember that show? On <laughs> yes, I love Cheaters. <laughs> I guess this was pre-texting. So you yeah. couldn't even be like, don't call me. Yeah. Right. This is this... post-paging pre-texting, yeah. It was when they thought texting was putting letters in an Excel doc, yeah. as we learned from dilemma, Nelly's girl. Dilemma. Yeah, just putting things in a spreadsheet. Okay, which, which girl looks the best? <laughs> Farrah, Michelle, Kelly, or Beyonce? Wow. In this video. I'm really going to say, I think Kelly looks the best. Kelly's stunning. With the blue? Um, I like it. I'm a, speaking I'm, of people who didn't get enough, Kelly Rowland. Yes. I know. Right. I was a fan okay. of oh, this okay. moment. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here's okay, the circle here loop. Here it is. I've I've have done this in my living room as a <laughs> little boy so many fucking times. Yes, me too. I love huh. that they also said, you know, if we put two in front, it would be more symmetrical. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not gonna do that. Ooh. This uh, part. This part. This part. This part. This part. Can I ask, what do you think it's like psychologically to be a part of a group with Beyonce in it? Is it, Oof. Is, do you accept that you're not Beyonce or is it devastating? I mean, you have to. I right? mean, you just have to. But I will say, I think Beyonce grew into Beyonce. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So I think that like in the beginning, you're kind of like, she's pretty good. Yeah. Um, uh huh. And I think that is Kelly Rowland her cousin. Do I have yeah. that fact right? No, you're right. So I think that like Kelly Rowland's probably just kind of like, okay, we've always grown up where like I know my uncle, I know yeah. his deal, I'm happy to be here, kind of thing. I think wow. it was probably hardest for the other girls to be right. like the yeah. other 16 girls that were on the group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want some shine, and it's just yeah. like, oh, we're doing this for my daughter. Yep. Oh, that's damn. tough. Yeah, that, that's that's a tough pill to swallow. But then at, at a certain point, you're like, okay, well, this is a gig. I've I've wanted to be a star, and I guess I gotta be a backup singer for the lead. Yeah, that's, that's okay. why I almost think that like maybe Kelly Rowland and especially Michelle just knows like, oh, I know how my checks get deposited. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just don't disrupt things. Yeah, I know. It's smart. She's yeah. smart. Uh, that's how Damn. you get those really cool genie bottle dressers they have in their episode of Cribs. <laughs> um, that episode of Cribs is really wild. Fun. It's so wild. It's, it's so so wild. It's funny yeah. because they're they're I'm gonna say it newly rich. Okay. So like you can see some of the things they buy are just like oh that's something you just someone... saw in the store and you're like I need that. Yeah, it's stupid. It's really fun and dumb. Have you guys um, ever seen that um, Michael Jackson interview with, I forget his name, but he's just like going through what looks like a weird museum. And he's like, I'll have that. I'll have yes. that. I'll have that. And they were like. <laughs> 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 um, and they're just kind of like, why? like, why? Like, why all that stuff that just looks like it's stuff from a museum? And it's, it's yeah. just was wild to me. It's like. Also, he, they always were like, he is broke, but also, I guess, brings in so much money, he, like, can't ever actually be broke. Yeah. No, yeah. Oof. Girl. Mm -hmm. Messy. Mm -hmm. Messy. Mm -hmm. But you know it's not messy? This music video, holy shit. Yeah, Mano, break it down for me. What is this video Segway. about? 
Um, this video is about the world's dumbest man. <laughs> <laughs> the world's dumbest man who had the opportunity to uh, be romantic with Beyonce and spoiled it by being uh, the worst liar and biggest cheater you ever did see. Um, so yeah, this is uh, that's this is them telling that story, and it's represented through um. This chaotic apartment building, which <laughs> is the Rubik's Cube of apartment buildings. I that... will say it, the video does give me very like Pure One Imports sort of vibes, yes. like yes. the aesthetic. But it was so true to that early 2000s aesthetic. Yeah. Like it did have that whole like, it was so, it's so of its time. You know, and that's it's... why I love it. it... It's really giving me, and I wonder if, if, as guys, you maybe didn't experience this as much. It's giving me Aloy slash Delia catalog vibes. <gasps> Ooh, uh -huh. I have less. Wait, like, so knew for those Delia's, unfamiliar, but I didn't know the catalogs. absolutely. Um, the, for those unfamiliar, please. The explain catalogs what that were is. moments every single month. Like, uh huh. They, I read them like they were magazines because they had like funny, weird little like Delia catalogs used to have like would you rather's along <laughs> like the perimeter. Or, like, weird little, like, quotes or things like that. Um, but just, like, yeah, f for those unaware, just, like, all the clothes people are, like, now wearing, but maybe it's, like, getting a little bit out, was, like, a Delia's catalog. Like, bucket nice. hats. Huge, like, crop tops with huge pants. Um, oh, my God. That's right. That was an aesthetic. That Anything Rachel Lee Cook wore. Yes. <laughs> That, like, like monkey face, color. it was like this, like... Yes! The Paul Frank yes. monkey. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That guy. Um, like, spaghetti strap, tiny little tank tops. Uh, yes. For example, case in point, Mandy Moore's candy video. Yes, oh, baby doll my God. Uh, uh, dresses. And also, to me, like, orange pants. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. A little, layers, like, layers. cringe. A little, like, why are we wearing this? But, like, still fashionable. Yeah. yeah, I definitely would like look at those catalogs being like, well, I can't get these clothes, but also like, who can wear these clothes? Yeah. Right. The type like, were these clothes are so stupid, you have to have like a wild body to to make up for that. Like you're wearing an objectively stupid outfit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the biggest platform, like shoes and the biggest pants and the tiniest little top and the yep. big bucket hat. Like the trends are haunted. People really needed to look like a triangle. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just so, like, so many chunky things. Absolutely. Ugh. My God. Okay, what's the lay you of Say My Name? Sorry about it, but we know it's the asymmetrical triangle for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that awkward formation. They really it's were trying to put so... Beyonce front and center, but you can't with four girls. Yeah. And that's when they realized this should be a three person. Ah! That's when they realized. You think the director was looking uh -huh. at the monitor and just like, like, Matthew, Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> One of them's got to go. One of them. Yeah, he's like, go. okay, um, uh, why don't you just go on lunch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my and god. Not come back. I probably am the Pharaoh of Destiny's Child for real. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Oscar? What's your what's it's the moment that, for you? It's that formation, and then that like I'm bouncing two basketballs choreography. Yeah. Okay. Which I really, really love. It got me. But also that Jamiroquai uh, moment too was so fun for me. Yeah. I just like that whole look. It just, it's very specific to my, I, I just, I really love that video when it came out. It was so good. Mary, what about so you? What's good. a lay you? Um, I don't know if this counts as like a lay you, but I will say that when we we're so monochromatic, we think those are the rules. <laughs> the moment we start shifting into a red can go with a white and a blue can go with a, an orange. <laughs> wow. It's like, wow. they've done it again. <laughs> they broke the rules of fashion. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think this, to be honest, I think this is another one where like the beginning, maybe even like, yeah. like uh -huh. you said, hearing like dog child out now, whatever yeah. Oh is. my God. Yeah. Amazing. And immediately I think like, there's child. a moment where Beyonce's like, yeah, yeah. Where you're she's like, coming at you. She's she's got aggressive energy for you. As a little Fuck. kid, if you're like, it's like, okay, I'm in. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So cool. Well, Damn. we watched we watched three iconic music videos today. This is gonna be tough. 
Yeah, but, but luckily we don't decide on which video gets to move on. Y'all love that do, for okay? us. But before y'all decide, let us make a case as to why our perspective video deserves to be in the top spot. Mano, why do you think TLC's No Scrubs deserves to be in the top 100 God. music videos of all time? TLC's No Scrub speaks for itself. It was the pivotal moment where they remind you, they reminded you, sophomore curse, no such thing. Uh -huh. We're TLC. We are talent. We're unique. Unlike Destiny's Child. Okay, Every why are you single me, member though? brings you uniqueness, excellence, gorgeousness. They have a character as opposed to being uh, interchangeable. Um, so, you know, you got to pick this moment. No scrubs. It also TRL royalty. Pick no scrubs. Damn. Okay. Oh. Now I'll let Oscar go last. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how much we were coming for next. I I'll mean, <laughs> wow. Me neither. This is a shock to me. Wow. This is the moment where you She's can playing dirty. lean into the ESPN yeah. sports center of it all. Here's what I'll say. Avengers is not one of the highest grossing movies of all time for no reason. <laughs> and Lady Marmalade did not bring it for you guys not <laughs> to vote for a rap pop. And at this moment, because of pink punk. Uh -huh. powerhouse uh -huh. of women coming together really uh playing together but also giving each other space when we talk about everyone bringing theirs it was uh -huh. a it was a picnic potluck where everyone knew exactly what to bring and we <laughs> didn't have two entrees we didn't have too many desserts we didn't mm -hmm. have just a bunch of cups <laughs> everybody everybody got Everybody understood the, the assignment. There's no lie there. There's no lie in that There's statement. There's no Absolutely lies not. detected. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, Oscar, good and luck. see how you Mary did it like, in a fair way? <laughs> sure. You see that she didn't have to like hit below the belt to get her point across? Yeah, it's great. I'd see I like your messy ass. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it seemed to work for her. Uh, <laughs> she has, unlike you, she has grace, style, so, class. So, <laughs> Destiny's Child, say my name. I'm going to. Destiny's Child, Say My Name is the best music video of the three. And here is why. Because we are getting a really, we're getting Destiny's Child in a transition phase, you know? We've seen TLC become 2.0. We've seen the Avengers of pop music. But we are seeing Destiny's Child in her awkward teenage years. And we need to support her in her blossoming into the triumphant trio that is Michelle Kelly and Beyonce. You know, mm. this is the time where we're seeing the girls like not like looking a little rickety crickety, you know, and loving every second of it. I'm mm. digging the Pier One Imports look, the Delius <laughs> catalog look. Like I'm I love it. I love it. And if it weren't for Say My Name, we probably wouldn't get to Survivor level Destiny's Child. Wow. So we need to acknowledge this side of Destiny's Child. Yeah. So are you so that. are you recommending Survivor or this video? I'm confused. You need to shut Which the video fuck up. You? Is what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Here's what I'll say. My, uh, uh, I had, my camera is stuck. Like the video went back to the beginning shot. And I'll tell you what, with just an orange couch and orange phone, we know what video we're about to watch. That's true. But mm -hmm. that, that could be true for all of these videos, honestly. No, I mean, they're insane. We're insane for putting it in one episode. And yeah, I love absolutely. it. Absolutely. I love the chaos. It's going to be a blood three icons fight. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. I oh mean, Titans. Ab absolute Titans of yeah. this specific era of pop music. I'm excited to see what wins. But again, that's not up to us. That's up to y'all. Wow, wow, wow. y'all get to go to our Instagram. Podcast killed the video star on Instagram. Go vote. Follow us everywhere if you're on YouTube. Rate, review, like, all that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Give us five stars on Apple Podcasts. It helps keep the pod free. Absolutely. Thank you for supporting us. Before we go, Mary, where can we support you? You can support me on all social media platforms at Mary Sasson. M-A-R-Y-S-A-S-S-O-N. Okay. Boom. Great. Well, we hate to Boom. end on with horrible news, but we have some awful, awful news. Someone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> now, talk about a freeze. <laughs> we killed MTV. Is that bad? <laughs> Mary, is that bad? You do bad? 
Me bad. <laughs> Bye.